It's the G to the U to the R to the U. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. It's the G to the U to the R to the U. The voice of football. Whenever you think about football, when you see football, you smell football, you hear football, you always think about the G to the U to the R to the U. You already know. Now let's move on to the Carolinas Panthers schedule prediction. Before we get started, we all know the rules when we talk about the Carolina Panthers. Rule number one, always like Matt Rule. Rule number two, always follow rule number one. Week one against the Jets. Oh my goodness, the NFL. Hey, look, the NFL schedule things. They, the NFL schedule guards think they got jokes over here, man. My man Sam Donald open against his old team, man, at home, man. At home, and I expect Matt Rule and company to put it on on on, on Zach Wilson, Zach Wilson and uh, Robert Salah, and then th Sam Donald gonna be like, "Yo, you traded me for this bum. You traded me for Zach Wilson." Hell to Sam Donald and Matt Rule. Week one W against the New York Football Jets. Week two against the New Orleans Saints at home, man. I expect Matt Rule, Sam Donald, and company to go 2-0 and and defeat whoever the starting quarterback going to be for the New Orleans Saints, man. Yes, y'all heard it. Matt Rule and the Carolina Panthers will start the season 2-0. and Week 3, travel to the Houston Texans for Thursday night football. Once again, thank you, NFL scheduling God. The Carolina Panthers are going to beat the Houston Texans because the Texans are going to be the worst team in football. 3-0 for the Carolina Panthers after three games, man. Week four, they go to the Dallas Cowboys. You know what I'm saying? This is the one they do the little Texas hot step. The Texas road trip they do, man. They go to the Texans and then go to the Cowboys. And even though I hate the Cowboys, we all know the guru hate the Cowboys, but the Cowboys right now a little bit better get up than the Carolina Panthers. So I see the Panthers taking their first L of the season in Jerry's world against the Dallas Cowboys, man. Week number five at home against the Eagles. Nick Serrani and the Eagles. The Eagles, I, I, the Eagles need help, man. They're rebuilding team. Uh, the Panthers are a better organization right now where they're at at this stage than the Philadelphia Eagles. So I anticipate my man, Matt Rule and company, to beat the Philadelphia Eagles and to start out five, four and one. 4-1 heading into week 6 against the Minnesota Vikings. There's a certain pivotal game in the, in the schedule that's going to dictate how your season is going to go. And this game right here is going to dictate a lot. The Minnesota Vikings game, and it's a home game. The NFL schedule wants the Carolina Panthers to actually win this game. They give the Vikings on the road at, uh, it's against a defensive team, going against an offensive coach. But I just don't think the Panthers are ready right now with Sam Donald to beat my favorite cousin. I see the Vikings taking this W and the Carolina losing against the Vikings. So Carolina is taking an L this week, week six against the Vikings. Week number seven at the New York Giants. I'm um, expecting them to take another L, back-to-back -back L. Uh, the Giants, are they're going to be very strong defensively, man. The New York football Giants are going to be one of the most solid defensive teams in all of football next year. So I think they're going to give the Panthers fits, man. And we all know uh, Sam Donald don't do well in, in New York. We just know that. You know what I mean? Um, week number eight at Atlanta going to Arthur Smith and company. There's just something about this game I don't like, man. It's, it, it, I don't like this game for, for the Carolina Panthers, man. So, I think they're going to lose this game again against Atlanta, man. Um, versus Week 9 versus the Patriots. I see another L. Uh, obviously, it's just the Bill Belichick right now against, you know, I love me some Matt Rule. Um, but it's just one of the, and then Cam Newton and company going against the Panthers. It's just, it's a lot of big, it's a lot of big emotional game. And we all know how Sam Donald is scared of Bill Belichick. I mean, Bill Belichick makes Sam Donald see ghosts. He see dead people. He see anything. He, I mean, he see outrageous things. And I see Sam Donald seeing another L against the Patriots. Week 10 against Arizona. This is getting, and one, once again, another one of them tricky games right here in this schedule, bro. It's like Arizona is like, and Carolina, they're kind of like the same team. So in this stage right here, um, I think Kingsbury 
I think uh, Matt Rule is a better coach than Kingsbury. He was whooping Kingsbury's ass in, in, in the Big 12 in college. He finna whoop his ass again in the NFL. So I expect the Carolina Panthers to whoop the Arizona Cardinals uh, week 10. And they come out with a W, man. Week number 11, they host the Washington football team. Ron Rivera and company playing the Panthers. Ah, eh, ah, ah, ah. My boys, uh, I'm Chase. Chase Young and company, and the Washington football team probably going to have a top three defense in all of football. I expect the Panthers to struggle, heavily struggle that game, and um, the Washington football team to take that W. So, Panthers going to lose to the Washington football team. And then week 12 against the Dolphins, I also see another L. I mean, this is just going to be too bad. Doug. I mean, this it's a brutal Brutal stretch right here before they go to the bye week, man. Two brutal defense against the Washington football team and against the Miami Dolphins heading to the bye. I see the Panthers taking two L's right there, man. So heading to the bye. Coming out the bye, they host the Atlanta Falcons. I see uh, uh, Matt Rule and, and, and Joe Brady getting, getting things spiced up over here in, in week 14. And the Carolina Panthers taking a dub over here, man. The Panthers dubbing the birds. Week 15, they travel to Buffalo. Uh, it's, I, I don't like this matchup. I just don't like this matchup at all for Carolina. I don't like them going into a cold, windy. We don't know what the weather is going to be in Buffalo. I don't like it. It's probably going to be a night game. We don't know what it's going to be, but I know what it's going to be. I think the Buffalo Bills are going to straight ambush. This is this is going to be one of them ambush games right here, man. Like one of those games you see 45-15, 45-20. You're like, what the hell happened? Yeah, it's going to be one of those what the hell happened games in Buffalo. Week 16, they come back home to take on the Bucks. You know, it's going to be a it's going to be a close game right here, but at the end of the day, the Bucks going to pull it through. I think it's going to be one of them close field goal games. After the embarrassment the Bills going to give him, they're going to come back and play the temporary Buccaneers strong. But I say Tom Brady's going to do what Tom Brady do, execute a last-second drive, a field goal to win the game. Week 17, they travel to New Orleans, baby. And right here, this is going to be a crucial game. I believe this is the game right here. Matt Rule is going to overtake Sean Payton right here. The Carolina Panthers are going to come out. Everything's going to click this game, and they will upset the New Orleans Saints in week 17, baby. I'm telling you, take that straight to the bank, man. man. That's the upset week right there. The Google calling that upset special. Week 18, they finish at... Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and we know Tom Brady and company going to take this dub. I see the Carolina losing this. So, overall, the Carolina Panthers will be going 7-10 and 10 this season, which is obviously is still a trending. Matt Rule and the company and the team will be trending up, and it will be one of the hottest teams and scariest teams to play towards the end of the season. Carolina Panthers 2021 NFL prediction 7-10. and 10. This is Monday Morning Football with the Guru.